But it was interesting because as I spent time in two places when I was growing up, I spent time both, um, I lived, most of the time I lived in the US, but sometimes I would come back to Russia for an entire summer. And as I did this, I would learn something quite, something quite important. I learned that the, um, the ideas that people had in the US, ideas about what was good or bad, what was cool or not cool, what was right or wrong, they were different from the ideas that people had in Russia. In Russia, they had a different concept of what was cool and what wasn't cool, what music was cool, what clothes were cool, what was right and wrong, what roles did men and women play. They had different ideas about these things. And I realized that neither culture was right or wrong. They were just different perceptions about these concepts. So I realized that there was no unanimous truth to anything. There is no right or wrong, good or bad. It's all about perception. And this perception is different depending on your culture, or depending on what part of the earth you live in. Human beings are more like water. This substance that you find pretty much everywhere in the universe, it seems. In some environments, water is liquid, you know, when the temperature is right. In some other environments, water is solid in the form of ice or it can snow, or water can be in the form of gas if it's too hot. It depends on the temperature, on the atmosphere, on the terrain, landscape, soil. It's the same with human beings. Depending on their environment, they can become thieves or scientists or people who can help others or who want to kill other human beings. We grow up in a culture, we call it a culture, it's an environment that uh, makes us believe one thing and not believe other things. The movies that we see, the music that we listen to, the books that we read, the people that we interact with, all of this creates us and if someone steals or someone helps other human beings then we should look at the environment.